Hi everybody and welcome to Screencast Online. My name is Richard and I'll be your host today taking you through how to use Yoink for Mac and iOS. In particular, what's new? We've actually covered Yoink for Mac and iOS previously in show 829. That was in April of 2019. Now, because we have covered Yoink for Mac and iOS previously, I'd like to show you some different types of tips and tricks that you can use to use Yoink to its full effectiveness, including transferring data from Mac and iOS and vice versa. So without further ado, let's jump in. So we'll look at Yoink for Mac first, and there are basically two flavors that we can use on Yoink to install on our Mac devices. Actually three if you think about it. One of them is a free demo, so you can download and no love lost if you don't like Yoink in particular, a free trial. There is a Mac App Store version, which at current pricing is around about 14 Australian dollars. So again, your mileage may vary in your particular currency. And a lot of you may choose to go down that route. Or finally, there is a website here called SetApp. And SetApp allows you to download an application onto your Mac that is essentially a wrapper you pay a monthly subscription for that allows you to install many, many, many pieces of software. We've got Bartender, we've got Clean My Mac. I have lots of them. It's not really a punt for setup in particular. It's another way to show. I go into here and it's got Yoink in setup and it's really a wrapper around so I can install lots of pieces of software. I've already installed it and I can open it directly in setup. So two or three flavors if you're gonna be technical about which flavor of Yoink you actually wish to install. Now we'll move on to look at how to set up Yoink in its various incantations. And then we'll look at some basic functions before reminding you how to look on moving on to something new. Now, because we've done it previously in show 829, we're not going to go into detail about how to the preferences panel or the basic functionality of Yoink, but I will be covering it very briefly in a moment, but I'm not going to go into the level of detail we had in the previous shows. For that, you can go and see the previous shows in April of 2019. So let's invoke Yoink now by pressing F5. We're going to go down to the gear icon and then we'll go down to the preferences panel. Now you can do the same from here. We go up to the menu bar, click on the yoink icon and click on the preferences option here and that will take you to the same place. So a couple of things that I want to show you first, I always launch yoink from login and I show the menu bar icon. That's this thing up here, hide it and I'll set it to dark theme brag for further contrast on it really. Now that's out of the way. The most important thing is this panel. What happens, you want Yoink to show as soon as you start dragging something. At the moment you can see the little animation here. It starts appearing when the file is dragged. So when I start to drag this food chain file from the finder, Yoink appeared literally straight away and I can click and drag that straight in. So that's the basic functionality of Yoink. You basically drag items into this little drawer and it stays persistent until you want it to disappear. And then you can just drag those items back out again. And the default behavior for Yoink is that it empties the drawer rather than copies items from the drawer. So that's when a drag starts. I can take it to when a drag starts at cursor position. So go back into the finder window again. And as soon as I click and drag, you'll see that Yoink draw appears directly underneath this text edit folder, and I can click and drag that in. And then we put something inside there. Same again, Lauren Ipsum, click and drag. Food chain, click and drag. And then the last option was when dragging to the edge of the screen. So by doing that, if I click, let me just hide Yoink. If I click and drag, Yoink won't appear until I get to the edge of the screen and then I can let go and it will place it within Yoink. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. 
you can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the Members Only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.